Welcome to Walletopia. Today we're going to open up the Aurox Nova wallet. This is a bifold, so let's get into this. All Aurox come in this uh, fantastic, it's a padded envelope that uh, is kind of a piece of work on its own. So if we get into this, <clears throat> let's see what we got. Beautiful. Great little wallet here. Let's take a closer look at it. It's got uh, nice stitching in all of its corner areas for reinforcement. It's got a nice feel to it. Nice and thin too. Great. Now to the feature review of the Aurox Nova Wallet. The Aurox Nova Wallet is, uh, this one is gray in color. And if we look at the exterior, we actually have features. On the right hand side, we actually have here a card slot, a quick access card slot. On the left hand side, which could also be considered the back, is also another quick access slot. So when it's closed, you see you have access to card or really it could be cash on both sides. And you can see that it kind of follows a, a pattern there where it's not opposite, it is uh, goes in conformance with the pattern on the front and the back. Now if we open it up, we can see that immediately on the left hand side here, we have a inside back card slot or cash slot here. And on the front, we have immediately a quick access card slot here. And it looks to be really one card. We'll, we'll look at that as we get into it. And on the right hand side, it's an exact uh, replicate here. It's a inside back card slot or cash here as well as a quick access card slot here as well. There is no billfold pocket. It is expected uh, to be operated as a quick access card slim wallet. And that is a quick review of the features of the Aurox Nova slim wallet. Now to the card and cash insertion test. All right, you saw that I got eight cards in there and five slips of cash. It works with the yen and euro, but on the outside. The inside, it interfered with the spine a bit in here when you tried to close it. It was got a little bit of crunchy. Uh, the company indicates it can hold 10 to 12 cards plus five to six slips of cash, which, which I think is really good. Now, let me uh, load this up really quick and we can measure it. All right, you saw the measurement on that. It's about a 0.4 inches uh, thin after having all of what I put in there. And it's actually, that's pretty thin. I really like the feel of this leather too. It's 100% full grain leather from Southeast Asian tanneries. It is designed and made in Pakistan. The sewing is really good on this. And it, the, the designs really are unique that come from these folks. Feels good, smells really good as well. Uh, this fold over edging that it has right here is is really you know well done. You can tell that this design is is very similar to the Bellroy design, their slim sleeve, but I like the cut of this leather a lot more. It's thicker. And even though it and it doesn't interfere with it being uh, thin, but it feels like it's more durable than what we have with the Bellroy. Now the, the leather is of course thinner than you'd find with other traditional handmade wallets out there, but the design really dictates this and that's fine. The pricing on this is $40 and that includes free shipping to the United States. So this is an excellent buy, a, a real value on this. Now the exterior quick access slots uh, are a little loose. You could have issues with cards falling out once it stretches a bit, but really if they're in there, if you have at least two cards in there, it should fit just fine and not give you any of those kinds of problems. It does work best to keep the cash uh, on the exterior if you're using foreign currencies, like I showed in the cash and card insertion test, but they do stick out a bit in the spine, but they stick out a bit on the exterior, and if you're happy with that, that's fine. For uh, US and Canadian currencies, fold it over once, it fits perfect here on the inside. Now for the measurements. It is three inches by 3.3 by 0.2 inches thin, 
And the perception on, that we have on this is it has a 100% money back guarantee. This is a wonderful organization based in Pakistan and they put a lot of thought into their design and what they produce. And they are also an environmentally conscious corporation working towards a B Corporation certification, very much like Bellroy. So with that, I, you know, I like this a lot. Let's get into the final scores. For quality of four, for price of five, features of five, usability of three, perception of three, and that gives us a final score of 39 out of 50. Take a chance, click on these links below, look what they have to offer. You will find that they have unique designs and uh, I've, I've not fi found one of their products I don't like yet. So uh, take a look, tell us what you think. Thanks, bye.